Good morning, CrossFit and Conceivable friends, family, and athletes. Uh, we're here to do the warm up and movement prep phase for Saturday. Um, it's going to be typically like we always see uh, for the warm up with me. So we'll go through the general Russian warm up and then uh, there'll be a break. Click on another link. We'll go into the movement phase, talk about what those movements look like as well as their adaptations. So let's go ahead and start with some neck rotations. We'll get five to 10 in each direction or however many you need to do. You can uh, pause the video at any time and do more or do less depending on how you feel today uh, and uh, how your quarantine's treating you. Let's get some yeses. and some nose. I like to do these until everything feels loose and nothing hurts anymore. Uh, for some of us that may be longer than for other of us. Let's go ahead and get some arm and shoulder rotations. We'll start out small and make our way up into bigger circles. So we can go as big as we can. And also we'll do those backwards Again, getting small and getting bigger. Let's get some elbows or some penguins. Just rotating from the elbow, getting that fluid around the joint, getting everything nice and lubricated and maybe go the other, not so proficient at the other way, but let's get some wrists. Generally, we're just getting everything uh, awake and moving around. This stuff isn't all crunchy from sleeping. All right, we get some hips. Some big hips, some little hips. Make sure we go in both direction. Making sure to move those hips, warm up that lower back, that posterior chain. Get it ready to move. Let's get some hinges. We're just gonna hinge over as far as we can. Driving that bottom back, trying to get our belly and our chest down on our thighs. Your knees are gonna bend naturally. That's okay. Put that back to stay flat. Chest pinched up. You can pause here and let your arms hang. Maybe let your head hang. Rotate those shoulders around in that hang. Remember to breathe. Do some knee and ankle rotations. Five to six in each direction. Again, until stuff quits being crunchy, stuff quits making noise. Good. Ankles, maybe you do these on the ground. Maybe you do them um, foot elevated, whatever works for you. Again, five to six in each direction until it doesn't feel like anything is crunchy. Get some air squats, the good old standard heels underneath the uh, hips, toes slightly turned out all the way down. Maybe pause down there in the bottom. Rock back and forth. Should feel some stretch in the ankle. Maybe push those knees over top of the feet. Chest is up. Let's get some of those good old air squats. This workout has some ground to overhead. Typically when we're doing cleans, if that's the way you're gonna prefer to go to shoulder and then overhead, or if you're going to snatch, you want to get that jumping ch chain warm. Oh, let's get some of those jumping air squats. Nice. We'll get some of those Cossacks, everybody's favorite, all the way down to one side. You can hold on to something if you want to. Not hold on to something if you want to. Whatever you want. Again, you can pause at any time, do more. We do some cherry pickers. 
Lick those hamstrings up. All right, let's go ahead and get a little Spider-Man stretch. Get that hip kind of warmed up. Grab a hold of that ankle, rotate that knee. You should be going through this pretty quickly. Maybe start to sweat a little bit, it's fine. Switch sides if you haven't already. You might kind of do some of that vinyasa. Get some of that hamstring stretch. Really lean into that ankle. Lean into that hip. Do that on the other side. Yeah. Some of that vinyasa yoga going on. Depending. Go ahead and warm up those wrists. Shoulders over wrists, get some rotations, some burpees in today's workout. Always a good idea. Take care of those small joints. They're the first ones. Tend to see injury, ankles, wrists, elbows. Shoulders and knees are later usually, as far as injury statistics go. Maybe roll around on the backs of those hands. As much or as little pressure as you can stand. All right. One last thing. If you have a PVC, awesome. If you don't have a PVC, you could use a broomstick or you could use a. Uh, you know, a piece of rope, clothesline. Just do some pass-throughs. These are really good for the shoulders, warm them up. Find any sticky point, kind of work through that. There's some figure eights. Again, you can use whatever you have around the house. If you happen to have a PVC, great. If not, a uh, broomstick works good. Piece of brush, whatever you might have. Um, Another good thing to do might be some of these uh, front rack stretches. You see this in uh, Nate's strength classes a lot. All right, for those of you that forget, you hold it like it's a sword. Rotate it around underneath the elbow. Grab a hold, keep that elbow up high. Stretch it out, warm it up. Feeling really uh, good today. You've been following along in snow's overhead mobility. Maybe get a few overhead squats with your PVC. If you're not quite feeling warm, feel free to do this section again. You know, six to 12 minutes, get warmed up. Maybe a little longer, depending on how you're feeling today and how hard you think you're gonna go for the rest of the workout. All right, guys, we'll see ya.